and welcome back to the new nice space family where you find everything pregnancy parenting children and all of those good stuff you're so much welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new to this channel my name is Ini. you're very very much welcome feel at home enjoy all my content and i kindly request that you please subscribe to this channel just click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post new videos you will be alerted automatically by youtube so just to add that subscription is totally free you won't be charged anything so it's just like following someone on instagram so kindly support this channel you know by subscribing and also be part of this amazing family you won't regret it at all all right so in today's video we are going to be having a guest in the house yes my guest today is one boy bahati she is a mom to a beautiful baby girl um who is currently a toddler and my guest is gonna be sharing with us some of the preventive measures that she has taken to help her baby stay safe during this season of covid 19 from contacting the disease yes in this current season of COVID-19, raising a baby, a toddler baby, you know, and helping them stay safe during this season is not easy. And so one boy who is our guest today will be sharing with us some of our measures, the measures that she has put in place to help her baby stay safe during this season. So join me as we welcome my guest and let's get to learn from our experience. <music> Hello viewers, my name is Wamboi K. Bahati, or you can call me Mama Kara. Today is my birthday, yeah, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you on one of my greatest milestones in my 20s, and that is being a mom. Special thanks to you, Ini, for the opportunity to be hosted on your TNS platform and share my experience on parenting during the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 parenting has not been that easy, especially for some of us who are first-time moms. Personally, at the onset of the pandemic, I experienced heightened paranoia, and that meant disinfecting pretty much everything, like doorknobs, surfaces, doing laundry with uh, using hot water. Luckily, I had made some DIY disinfectants and bleach that came in handy. Oh my. Mobility restrictions have caused us episodes of boredom, seeing that we can't just be random in outdoor activities as we used to. And even our daughter outgrowing her wardrobe and we just don't want to go shopping. Balancing between work and parenting has not been a walk in the park. And this means as a primary caregiver, having to be up on wee hours to work on projects. To cope with the season, and this may sound a bit generic, we ensure that we maintain hygiene. And by the way, I commend the media in Kenya for doing a good job with the advocacy. It's been breathtaking for me to see my little one practice hygiene etiquette, like sneezing on her elbow or <laughs> We've intentionally resulted to being a part of our baby's ent entertainment through play and learning. Like for instance, we spare some time to watch cartoons with her as well as teaching and assigning her small tasks. Most importantly, we take time to pray and fellowship together as a family. Because you realize that even after taking all these precautions, you will still miss on some. Like you'll still want to meet up with your family members and friends who even after elbow greetings, they'll still hold the baby. My advice for moms this season, especially stay-at-home moms by choice or maybe by circumstance, just seize the moment. Parent gladly and enjoy watching your children grow. Getting to notice pretty much every milestone she achieves has been the best part of this season. That's it for today. Goodbye.